All right, so we're back again. Click, click, click. So I'm about to just go through some of these images that I took tonight. I took these for this tutorial I'm working on. I thought I'd record myself just going through some of these images and seeing how much pre-production I have to do. Or just lighting, cleaning up, you know, shadows, highlights, and that type of stuff, blah, blah, blah. So the tutorial is gonna be on some of these images that I have in mind of, um, well, these images that I created from Mid Journey and I wanna use the images that I shot of myself and Photoshop them on top of those to see how good I can get them to, to match up far as in color and lighting and mood, you know, so. A lot of people think, oh, I could just take an image and go on cap cut and green screen it out, key it out and just stick it on anything. But I mean, the lighting doesn't match at all. So as you can see, I'm just starting on the table because the table that I am working on is, uh, let me see if I can give you guys an image, a shot of this image I'm working on. This is the shot right here I'm working on right here. The first shot out of like three. And as you can see, there's a table, it is lit from up top so the character is going to be backlit if they were sitting on the edge of this table it'd be more shadows near his feet which is why on my image i had the light positioned kind of close to where this light was positioned uh wait let me go back this light right here was positioned all right right up right up above so and i didn't care if it was you know as far as the color temperature whatever i was going to get it set right by the time i started shooting but i want to you know start get my composition together as you can see here i have two v flat boards laying on their side because i wanted to add more bounce you know feel light where my legs were i think my legs were a little too dark for this image that i'm working on so with the two v flats i added some fill in the shadows but where my feet were and then eventually i went and got in costume and started taking some test shots so let's take a look let me zoom in here and i kind of want it to be like this so if i was on the desk you know dark in the face and lit up from the back so one of these should work just fine i kind of did a good job uh estimating or guesstimating where the table is going to be this one's good too i like this one portrait and click on lift the flex up a little and shadows drop the contrast a little bit texture yes a nice image i like that one. all right i'm not gonna do too many too much color correcting i just want to scroll through some of these images show you guys that one's pretty cool that one's cool too yeah, that's the fun part about cosplaying actually is getting in the character and putting on this whole facade you know what helps too is finding some good music that's just gonna put you in the mood to be evil i guess or mischievous i would say this guy is very mischievous i really love how the light is hitting on the shot and this is for the second shot as you see i'm building light i wanted orange tones excuse me warm tones in the back as a kick kicker light and i wanted warm tones over here on the right side and a nice evenly uh hair light because in this image the second image that I'm working on. Uh, let me see if I can find that one. I think it's a death scenario too. Okay, right here. So you can see that there's a practical lamp here and there's a practical lamp there in the back, which is why I wanted, you know, light from right here on the right and right from here in the back. That's how you do good color matching, especially when it comes to lighting also. If you're gonna be doing, you know, photo manipulations or superimposing images or whatnot, you know, if there's gonna be a lamp right here on the desk and a light right there in the back, you wanna put, you wanna shoot your character in that same you know, position and light the top of the head or the head because you can see that up here that there's light coming down. You can see the light hitting the back of the wall so you can tell there's a nice overhead light. It's also filling up the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick him in this area right here behind his chair. And that's why um, I was posing such as with the lights and, uh, if I can create a light diagram, I'll create one and I'll post it on here. So that's that's what you want to pay close attention to when you're uh, shooting images that you know, okay, I'm going to be sticking them in a certain background 
you know, to make them look really believable, you really want to look at the lighting in the image or know where you're going to put certain lights at in the image so the lights can match up. With this one, I took my Amaran 150C and I snapped my Spotlight SE uh, snoot on there. And then I took a gobo that looked like a gate and I started shooting myself. Now these right here, I didn't have a specific background that I created on Mid Journey. These were more like, you know, just wing it, you know, come up with a cool idea. See, I started with just the spotlight and then I went and added the same uh, P60C and I had a grid on it. Did I take the grid off? I might have took the grid off on this one. You know, I just want to get some cool shots, like maybe like he's getting caught outside the gate of some place that he's about to go rob or something. I look like the the other guy on Blink Man. But this is cool though, because if I did want to take the background out, I'm pretty sure I could find a cool background to stick back there. And this is where I added some purple. Wow, that looks like Bane from, that looks pretty cool. Wow. I was doing this, you know, like using my cane to block the light because the light was in my eye. That looks ferocious. Scared of you, dude. That looks pretty cool too. All right. And I'm pretty sure I got some cool ones in here too. Uh, just different poses. I did one when I had the cane going down the back of my arm. I thought those turned out pretty cool even though I didn't see them on the laptop until now. So I had the spotlight hitting me and then I had the purple coming from up top which created this nice you know color contrast so if i really wanted to i probably can go in there and i kept moving the cane around and put myself in this really awkward position with my body to get the shot because I, the way the shot was set up i really had to bend and twist my arm to get the cane to slide down because it's not like i'm shooting with a 24 to 70 which is what i miss on my canon mark twos and mark threes uh i just had to get an adapter because i have the 24 to 70 lens i shot these on a 35 millimeter lens which still rocks on my canon's r6 so yeah these are pretty awesome look at him he has his little snoot on his face like this dude oh wow look at that i can't wait to get my teeth fixed man look at that for missing too it's all good though i still look great but look at that shot that is pretty freaking cool I haven't even gone in there de like dealt with the purples or anything, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll probably do on Friday, uh, Speed Art Friday. They do some, uh, let me see, you, um, some editing. Wow, that's pretty cool. So what I want to do with probably is want to uh, go to Luminance, drop the color down on that. Let me see, go to green, go to sad. Ooh, that's like a Mortal Kombat version. That's cool. Yeah, I am most definitely throwing a background behind this. Does it get any cooler than that, dude? Let me copy that one too so I can put that on another one because all the rest of these shots were sh uh, shot with the same lighting, camera settings. I just basically moved around different poses. Don't get classy on them. Dude, with the light just right below the eyes. Yeah, I remember taking it because I seen it in the, the LCD screen on the lens. I had it flipped up and the more and more I, I shot it, I was like, okay, I have to position my eyes in a certain spot to get it to like, you know, give out that mysterious look. And this is kind of like, I was feeling like sneaking away, kind of almost like Looney Tunes. You know, you got the prison light on you. You grew up watching this stuff as a kid, man. You you turn into one quick, you know. I would love to get all the, all the costumes actually from Robin, Penguin. You know, I don't see too many people doing um, the ice dude, Dr. I forgot his name. These are pretty cool too. I wish I was more in the middle of the camera though. Let me take a look at this one. Light just a little too bright. Here. Now I wish I would have had the, the purple light just hitting the back of the wall, like off the back of my shoulders. And where this light is right here, just keep it white or maybe yellow to kind of give off like the yellow street sign. And I could have put myself like in the alley somewhere. Purple background, a uh, yellow headlight to uh, simulate a street light. And then you got your random light on the left spotlight coming in. This is pretty cool too. Maybe I need to bump up the set and my greens, which is already turned to. I like that though. It's kind of giving off a. Yeah, I like that. I don't know what it is, but about that. Mob boss, not mob boss really. I don't like the cap, but the cap too corny to me. It should have been, you know, fitted. Maybe I need to turn down the purple. And that's different. All right, well, I think we got something to work with. Oh, okay, I like this one too. Overall, yeah, this is real smooth. Light right under the eyes. 
that's pretty cool yep and um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pull up the backgrounds and slap a couple of these puppies on those clean them up if uh i post the other tutorial of this whole behind the scenes first i'll add that link to this video right here so you can see it also um i'll add a link of the speed the speed art video right here and i'm gonna jump off man it's been a long night i just want to run through the photos and kind of show you guys what i worked on tonight uh and i needed a video for my thursday review so this will make the cut oh yeah work smart not hard look at that cool dude there that's a clean shot man love the perspective all right so look forward to seeing these images man uh you can see them on my instagram at will my and uh when i post a video you can see it on there also or on my tiktok at mr my all right so don't forget to like the video y'all please like the video and subscribe show the brother some love man show the brother some love subscribe to the channel man even if y'all don't y'all don't come back and watch another video just subscribe to the video and like it please all right i'll see y'all later peace